I appreciate the opportunity to address the 2018 International Telecom Communication Union Plenipotentiary Conference on behalf of the independent state of Papua New Guinea. I bring warm greetings from the people of and the government of Papua New Guinea, led by Prime Minister Peter O'Neill. I also wish to acknowledge and thank our host, the government and the people of United Arab Emirates for their gracious hospitality. Distinguished delegates, we have come to attend this very important conference because we believe in the ITU. The ITU has played a very important role in the development of telecommunications and ICT generally in the world. For Papua New Guinea, 2018 is seen as the year of embracing ICT and the digital economic future. We have just rejuvenated the A to D migration process for the public broadcasts, especially in television, which has been lagging behind due to mostly funding. But the two commercial television stations have almost completed the migration process. We have had an ICT symposium on the 17th of May to mark the World Telecommunications and Information Society Day. We have had a blockchain technology conference last month as part of our catch up to what it is to us an emerging technology. The National Executive Council, chaired by our Prime Minister, has passed a national roadmap on the ICT sector and that cabinet decision has set the stage for an all of government approach in establishing the Ministerial Committee on ICT to be co-chaired by me as Minister responsible for ICT and the Minister for National Planning and Monitoring. This will for the first time lift the profile of the ICT sector high in the government agenda in Papua New Guinea. As many of you know, we have been playing host to APEC 2018 under the theme of embracing the digital future. This will climax in the APEC Leaders Summit in mid-November this year, which I think is a fitting summit to PNG's ICT focus. We expect that the ITU will continue to play a pivotal role and a vital role in advancing telecommunications development for the good of mankind, particularly in the developing world where digital divide continues to pose significant challenges in the context of national development. I wish to acknowledge the support of the ITU and commend the Secretary General and your hardworking staff from the regional office in Thailand for the technical assistance and support we have received over the years in implementing projects in Papua New Guinea. We thank you all other development players, including member states and the international organizations that have provided support in addressing telecommunication development needs in Papua New Guinea. As inferred earlier, PNG has made tremendous strides in recent years in the development of telecommunication and ICT generally. Commencing with formulation of ICT policy in 2009 and the separation of policy, regulation and operation responsibilities competition and introduced and a converged independent sector regulator established. Mobile penetration rates have increased to nearly 70%, whilst mobile broadband penetration is about 40%, mostly in major cities where 3G service is rolled out. Our national transmission network is being upgraded, which includes the development of a high capacity fiber cable that will connect all major cities and urban centers particularly the provincial administrations, capital of Papua New Guinea. A major international submarine cable linking PNG, Australia, and Solomon Islands is expected to be operational by the end of year 2019. Given the development of the industry since the 2009 policy, my government recognizes the need for continuous policy review and update. The National ICT Roadmap passed by the O'Neill Cabinet recognizes the need to focus on six digital framework areas of digital infrastructure, digital government, 
digital services, digital business environment, digital skills, and digital safety. A national cyber security policy and legal framework are also under development. These initiatives are critical in the development of a digital economy for Papua New Guinea and to take its place in the modern economy. We have also adopted our third medium development plan 2018 to 2022, which identifies ICT as a key strategic development priority. ITU's continued support and guidance will be required in further planning and implementation of these initiatives. We therefore call on the ITU to remain steadfast in its missions of connecting the world through telecommunication development. Distinguished delegates, we believe that PP 2018 will reaffirm the ITU's commitment to connecting the world. The next couple of weeks provide an ideal opportunity for member states and the international community to engage in constructive and collaborative manner and in the spirit of mutual respect and move forward on the basis of consensus to ensure that the ITU will continue to play the vital and important role for years to come. We recognize the rise and the growth of internet connectivity brings enormous benefits as well as challenges. Creating a framework for equitable access to orbit spectrum services, enhancing and strengthening ITU regional presence, ensuring telecommunications network and secure interoperable, and assisting member states, particularly the developing countries in bridging the digital divide and some of the priorities that should be focus of the ITU. Here in the amazing city of Dubai, we believe this community can further the fruitful collaboration over the last four years that many other speakers have already noted. We believe we can join hands through the next couple of weeks to make the contribution to the fulfillment of the fully inclusive and prosperous information society. Let me once again thank our host, United Arab Emirates, for the very warm hospitality, the excellent facilities, and the arrangement for this conference. I also acknowledge, wish to acknowledge the General Secretary, the Directors of BR, TSB, and the Development Bureau, and the ITU staff for organizing the 2018 Plenipotentiary Conference. My delegates look forward to working with you all in the next couple of weeks, and I wish you all a successful conference. Thank you for your attention.